Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 8 of Win 1 Take 1. And this episode, I'm going to be taking on the Melbourne Storm and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. So we're getting right up there in terms of um, the top sides. I can't remember where they actually came. So it's either 4th and 3rd or 3rd and 4th, one of them, probably 3rd and 4th. Uh, sorry, sorry, 2nd and 3rd, I should say, um, not 3rd and 4th. Uh, but the Storm, they're the first team we're taking on, and Rabbitohs, obviously, the second team. But some great players from, from both the sides. Obviously, they finish very high up, and I'm definitely looking for... You know, some of their better plays. Obviously, Storm got, you know, the Cronks and, um, you know, the likes of them. So, we're looking to, you know, pick up one of them. Smith would be a great one. Um, and saying that, though, like, you know, if we don't pick up one of them, there are other players that I'd be very happy with. Um, you know, you got the Bull Chambers and some of those sort of guys. Um, but the side that we've actually got is pretty impressive. Manny Vanavai is going to go over. And I think it all started with a great run by Josh Dugan. And I think Dugan's really stepped up the last few games. Um, it's nice little steps that he's had. Um, well, side steps, I should say. Uh, and also Luke Walsh slotting the conversion. Could this be his last game? I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But if Cooper Cronkett came to the side, like a lot of these players, he'd just be straight in. Even like the Slaters, like I'd find a spot for Billy Slater. Whether it be on the wing or like moving Dugan or somewhere, like it, it would happen. Uh, we do pick up another easy try there, Luke Lewis, I believe it was, um, who scored it. And it came off, it wasn't quite a 40-20, but Billy Slater ended up running out, which is quite comical. Usually that happens to uh, myself. Uh, but yeah, Luke Lewis, who we picked up from the Sharks last game, if you hadn't seen that, go back and have a look at it. But right here, it nearly, nearly was a disaster right there. Will Chambers picks off a pass. Thankfully, uh, I think it was McCulloch and that got back there. And then we make a bad read with Chris Lawrence, but Marnie Vatavai makes up for it and just throws O'Neill or whoever it was over the sideline. Duffy, I'm not sure who it was. We then throw, you know, another iffy pass, but Lawrence ends up getting it away to Vatavai. But there's another intercept, and Will Chambers it is again. Uh, he's the cop for it. Maybe he's just a gun intercept player or whatever. But then Luggy Sedu is going to make a bit of a break here, but he follows it up with a forward pass. So get let off a little bit easy there. And then straight from that, we end up making a break here. Chris Lawrence, he's got the pace. There's no fullback uh, in sight. So we're going to go and pick up another try. So we are really looking at possibly getting um, a bonus player here. If, you know, we're getting very close to the 20-point mark. Uh, Chris Lawrence picks up his first try of the game. Definitely not his first try of the um, series. I'm actually not sure what sort of um, try records, whatever everyone's got. I'd say Lawrence has got the most out of him. Seems like he scores a lot of tries. Then Yaya is going to create a little bit of space for Nightingale. I'm not sure if the side step was required, but, you know, it seemed to work a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to follow it up with, you know, not quite a break here for Brown. It's going to be a break for Proctor as he strips the ball. But then Dugan is going to run back and he's going to um, tackle. Thank thankfully, Dugan had the pace there. Uh, but at half time, it's going to be 18 nil to us. I can't say, like, I'm, I'm very delighted with it. You know, we've made a few little errors, but defense has made up for it. Um, you know, I like, do like to say I pride myself on my defense in this game. I'm pretty good at it, but uh, at the same time, like, who, who needs to defend when you can score tries like this team's doing right now? The amount of breaks we've made. And Sam Thide, he's put into another hole here. And we get it through to Glenn Stewart. Tries to put in a little grubber. It was quite shit. But Billy Slater's going to race away. And at first, I was like, oh, man, I didn't see that we had Ben Roberts or someone at the back there. And whoever made the whoever made the contact it didn't actually you know effectively make the tackle whatever but slowed him down enough that Lawrence or whoever it was made the tackle the Ben Roberts here to round out the game and he made a bit of a break and then as Ben Roberts does best screws it up and uh, that's how it finished 18-0 Roberts picking up man of the match here and uh, we're going to pick three players here couldn't get their bonus player but who cares and the players we get number 12 number 4 and number 15 let's take a look at number 12 first follow before them 15 so Ron Hoffman is one of them now on this game not a big fan of him, but in real life, you know, he seems to be quite, he's quite good, runs good holes and that sort of stuff, he's playing very well um, at the Warriors, and then we got Maurice Blair, who's not going to feature for us, but, you know, we got him, and then the last player, who's going to come up any second now, is Laggy Setter, who's another one, who isn't going to feature for us, I believe he's at the Raiders right now, um, but yeah, just, yeah, just have, have no need for these, these sort of players, only one who potentially has a chance is Hoffman, and uh, unless lose some players or have a change of heart he probably won't be in the side you know at least for a little while uh, moving on to the second game which is taken on the Rabbitohs who had a very good side then um, I believe Burgess and stuff are playing I can't remember if I had stuffed around with the side um, from doing my like an hour preview so I think Sam Burgess and that should be in the side but have to wait and see here we've got Inglis uh, Merritt and that um, don't know if Burgess is there. I can see a Burgess. I just don't know if it's Sam. I believe it is Sam, though. 
but they, they've, you know, they've still got great players. English, Reynolds, um, any of them I'll definitely take. You know, the Burgess boys, any of the Burgess lads I'd probably take. Um, backs, I'm not really sure about. Dylan Walker's not great in this game. Um, maybe Tio. Tio would have been a good pickup as well. Um, but yeah, I'd take a fair few of these players. Uh, but a really, really nice tackle there by Nottingale. He's not really known for the shoulder charge, but picked one off just then. And then per um, Merritt, I nearly said Perrett. Uh, Merritt picks off a pass there. He's going to race away for an intercept. Uh, I was really hoping he took a look up at the big screen and bobbled it, but he didn't. And uh, they should go to a 6-0 uh, six lead here. To Adam Reynolds sliding over. And I'd definitely take Adam Reynolds um, over Luke Walsh, I believe. Um, although they're, you know, they're kind of similar players. I'd say Adam Reynolds is a better version of Luke Walsh. Uh, but we pick off our own intercept here. We're going to race away and score. Um, it was just really too easy. Uh, quite a poor pass and just telegraphed it. And Luke Walsh it was for us, who I was just talking about before. He goes and ends up scoring it. And he's about to convert his own kick, which he does straight over the black dot. Maybe not quite the black dot. It's taking a little bit too far. But uh, one from one, we are. And uh, at half time, it was 6 all. You can see our completions are just absolutely terrible. Two from five. Just not good enough, really. Um, whether that be the intercepts or um, just drop balls. But... Get quite lucky here. They make a bit of a break. A little bit annoyed that Dugan couldn't have turned around faster. We would have had a, a runaway there. But Nightingale is going to pass it inside Ya Yi. And Ya Yi's got a fair bit of pace, but not enough to get past Inglis. Uh, but he does get a quick play the ball. And these are not exactly like back to back, but you know, just showing some great play here. Dugan, his pass hits the ground, and that just kills the momentum of that. And uh, yeah, that's where it ends the highlight. They're going to throw an intercept here, and yeah, yeah, he's had a stormer of the game here. It continues as he, you know, he's going to race away, go straight under the post. They're not going to catch him. Um, I actually don't think his pace in this game does him justice. I know, obviously, the ankle injury, but when this game came out, like, I remember him being a lot faster than, like, an 85 or whatever he is, compared to some of the players in this game, anyways. And from right in front, Luke Walsh, he doesn't make a meal of it. He puts it straight over, two from two. So, uh, yeah. We're right in the box seat to go and win this one. It gets even better as we, I think it was Nightingale maybe, just threw him straight over the sideline. And I think Dugan here, um, this is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, so they're going to go up to the VRF here. Take a look, this is just one of the weird sort of animations where Dugan is obviously short of the line, doesn't get anywhere near it. But we're going to take a look at the VRF. And it's a howler from the VRF as, you know, uh, they, they must have said it was a try and they couldn't have rule it or something. Like that, that, re that really, like to be totally honest with you, Val, the standard video refs these days, it doesn't look out of place. But, you know, we had the lead, um, Walsh kicked it from the sideline, so just further established our lead. And, you know, we're not going to lose them here, it's like 77th minute, though we did go over the sideline. Uh, it was never in doubt, uh, we weren't going to concede there, and if we did, it didn't really matter. But we pick up another victory against the Rabbitohs, and I'm really thrilled to get some of their plays. So let's take a look and see which three plays we end up getting. Such a shame we can get a fourth. So we get number seven, we get number two, and number one. So we have got the best players from Rail Days, pretty much. Um, maybe not two, but um, let's take a look at who we got exactly in you know a few seconds here. So we pick up Adam Reynolds, the halfback. Now this is just what we're calling out for. Now I know Luke Walsh did the job and he had a great game last game. He's, you know hasn't really put a foot wrong for us, but. We've been crying out for a real standout halfback, and we finally got one. Merritt, probably not going to feature. We've got better wingers. But the big man, G.I. Greg Inglis. I'm not really the biggest fan of him off-field ever, but on this game, he should be incredible. It's just whether I want to slot him in at fullback or in the centres, or where I'm not really sure at this stage, but, um, yeah, probably slot him in the centres so he can keep Dugan because he's been quite good. Please, I just put them into the squad. And uh, I'll take the time to say if you could drop a like, it would be very much appreciated. If you could subscribe to my channel, be also very much appreciated and also with the likes if we can hit 20 that'd be awesome um yeah so make sure you come back and check out my other videos if you want to follow me on twitter at mr luke and yt is my handle and i'll see you in my next video bye guys